What's going on, guys? Uh, Joel Green here, and we have a very special guest from the Feeding America Riverside San Bernardino office outfit. <laughs> How are you doing? Hi, yeah, I'm Feeding America Riverside San Bernardino. <laughs> Is it outfit, office, or just that's it? San Bernardino end. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, office. <laughs> Gotcha. So for those that aren't familiar, tell us what Feeding America is all about. Um, so Feeding America, Riverside, San Bernardino, our mission is to alleviate hunger in the Inland Empire. So that's what we do. We provide food to over 250 charities in our local region that are actively working to distribute food. So some of these are pantries, shelters, um, soup kitchens, after school programs, senior centers. They all have a population of people that they need to feed. So they come to us as that resource. And through COVID-19, we've had a lot of individuals reach out to us for assistance. So right now we're actively working to feed those people. We've been doing a lot of drive-through food distributions. We've been doing emergency food deliveries to seniors. So we're actively working to change our model to assist through this great need. So, uh, you know, obviously everyone's affected by this, hands down. And what I'm hearing you're telling me is that you're having even the, not just the, the groups or the organizations or the banks, but uh, individuals coming to you and asking for help as well, correct? Yeah. So um, prior to this whole pandemic, we'd maybe have five to 10 people a week come to us because they needed assistance. They saw our name or they saw us online and figured they must have food. So we would help those people. But right now it's, it's so widespread that it's you know, just the first week that this really blew up, um, we were having dozens upon dozens of people just showing up needing food assistance. So now we're doing these drive through food distributions and we're serving thousands at a time. So it's, it's a huge, huge need in this area right now. Wow. So where, I mean, tell me how this works. Do, do, is it locally in my city? Do I have to go to Riverside or San Bernardino? How does it work? So since we cover such a huge region, we cover Riverside and San Bernardino counties, we've been working to host food distributions in a variety of cities. So we held one in San Bernardino, we've held two in the city of Riverside, one in Lake Elsinore, um, one in Ontario, and we're actively working to have two more this upcoming weekend, one serving Riverside County and another serving San Bernardino County. So we're all over the place right now trying to reach different cities every week. So if people want to, um, you know, uh, go there for help themselves, mm -hmm. is there a website, a social media site, where do they go to find out where they need to be? Yeah, so we, as soon as we confirm all of the details, we post them on our social media. Usually it's, it's a few days in advance to when the actual distribution is going to take place and they're drive through food distribution. So you just pull up in your car, open up your trunk, and our volunteers will put an emergency food box inside along with additional items if we have it. Um, and that's pretty much how our distributions work. It's, it's free of cost. Uh, we don't uh, require any paperwork or anything like that. So it's completely free. And this is a, kind of an above and beyond thing uh, with your normal every day, every month uh, distribution, correct? Yeah. So to meet this need right now, our entire team has been kind of taking turns to fill these emergency food boxes. So in the morning, our programs team, they're out in the warehouse building boxes. In the afternoon, my team, which is the development and fundraising team, we're downstairs putting together these boxes. Um, and we actually don't have any volunteers right now because of what's going on. So our volunteers are mostly helping outside of our warehouse. So they're doing the deliveries to seniors, but inside our warehouse, it's just our staff putting aside their normal everyday projects to help build these boxes. Wow, and, and I know that I, I can almost feel people saying, well, how do I get involved? How can I help? Mm -hmm. I think our biggest need right now is, is funding dollars. So donations make the biggest impact right now. Um, through this increased need, we're having to kind of allocate our resources and use new resources that we never had to do before, such as these emergency boxes, the amount of tape that we're using to put these together, um, labels, all of that stuff, things that we've never really requested before. So now we're having to actually go out of our way to buy those things. So donations with that help. Um, our team's actually been working so much overtime to bless their souls because they're doing so, so much to meet this need. So, of course, you know, funding comes into that, too, and our expenses have increased significantly, so dollars make the biggest impact. Um, we also aren't taking food donations right now just for the safety of our community, so definitely funding helps um, so we can acquire those food items. 
Um, additionally, we are taking volunteers for our food deliveries to seniors. So if anybody wanted to volunteer for that, you could visit feedingie.org slash volunteer and sign up to join that list. So that way you can help with that. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. Prior to you and I uh, getting on here, I, I was sharing with you that I can't believe how much publicity Feeding America is receiving right now um, through mainstream media. Um, mm -hmm. Simply because a lot of celebrities out there, their go-to for donations and their nonprofits that they're put in front of a lot of people. It's mm -hmm. Feeding America. You guys are getting a lot of wonderful publicity by you know, celebrities and whatnot out there. Yeah, definitely. We're, we're very thankful because we're a part of Feeding America, the national organization. So there's 200 of us food banks underneath that fall underneath that national organization. Um, so we're very thankful that a lot of those funds are being allocated to us to meet this need. But I always, uh, I always encourage um, you support your local food bank directly to make sure that those funds directly support your neighbors in need. So if we were in Orange County, I'd say support Second Harvest Orange County. If you're in LA, LA Regional Food Bank. And if you're in Riverside or San Bernardino counties, support us, Feeding America, Riverside, San Bernardino. <laughs> that, you know, that's a really good way to put it. I, we, uh, years ago, many, many people that watch this know that I've, I've hosted Curiosity Quest for years. And during our, re, our green series, our environmentally friendly series, we did an act, a show with uh, Second, Second Harvest, I'm saying it correctly, yeah. in, down in Irvine. And it was mm -hmm. the first time I'd ever done a program with a food bank. And I got to see the massive amount of logistics that goes behind the scenes that you're literally dealing with on a daily basis. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Yep, definitely. It's, it's a huge need. It's, it's crazy how much we've shifted our efforts to meet this need. Our team is learning things that they've never had to learn before. We're all putting together these food distributions, which, I mean, I'm on the fundraising side, so I'm used to dealing with money and things like that. So I'm putting together these food distributions and learning logistics. So it's, it's very different. <laughs> so, uh, Carolyn, if people want to donate, I hear what you're saying about donating. And I know this is, you know, pretty 100% or absolute for most nonprofits out there, um, where, where do people go or call or how can they get involved with, uh, with supporting? Yeah, so right now, if you wanted to donate, you could go to feedingie.org slash donate. Super simple. You could also text hungerfreeie to 41444, and that'll take you um, directly to a donation page that goes to our site. So either text hungerfreeie to 41444 or go to feedingie.org slash donate. That sounds good. I, I just wanted to bring, uh, you know, Carolyn on today. We, we're hearing a lot about you. I know you've connected with us in the past several times um, through social media and other events that we do and you do uh, on your own. Um, so it's just important to know that there's organizations out there that are doing the, the really good work anyways, and your good work is just amplified and, and multiplied of what now what you kind of have to do and, and what you do to, in order to continue to do the good work. So <laughs> Thank you for everything you guys do. Really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you for having me. It was nice talking to you. You bet. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye.